Is this on? It better be on. Hey, what's up, peoples? It's Rasta Boy TV, and you know what? It's the real Rasta Boy on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I think I need some chapstick. But anyway, it's the M Tuesday, and guess what? Empire just went off on Fox. Child, 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 hello. Can we talk about Empire tonight? I'm telling a lie. They added Courtney, um, Courtney Love in there tonight, and Miss Um Raven Small made a grand appearance at the end. Oh my god, Lee Daniels will make giving me a damn headache. Lee Daniels will give me a damn headache. I can't, I can't. I'm like a, a good headache though, a good headache, Lee Daniels. Let me just dive into some of the, the, the highlights of the show tonight. So, the highlights of the show tonight, Lucius called this grand old dinner meeting with everybody there. You know, Andre, Hakeem, Jamal, everybody. And even invited Cookie Tookie. <laughs> Cookie Lions. Everybody know Cookie Tookie be out there, be on the social media acting up a fool. But anyway, it's all about Cookie Lions. So Cookie Lions was getting prepared for this so-called dinner and she was getting turned up to guess what song? Um, Lila Kim. Um, it's time for the jump off. I'm going right up and I'm back for the jump off. I'm saying, bitch, I'm like, you better go off of Lil' Kim in Empire. So, you know, well, she was a performer. She was, you know, the background music while, you know, Cookie was getting ready. So, Cookie, uh, Cookie arrived at the dinner only to hear that Lucius actually proposing, actually announcing his proposal to Anika, Miss Boo Boo Kitty. You know, Cookie did not want to hear that. She's like, bitch, after you came to my house days ago about our anniversary, you hear advertising about your engagement to this, to this old rat face bitch. Child Cookie snapped. She get up and she opened up this jacket, this fur jacket, this fur coat she had on, and she served it. She was like, "Bitch, I can dress looking all like this, all fabulous, and this is actually let me play it. Let me play, let me play the audio and let me play her audio. Hold on, it's on my Instagram. So if y'all want to see that audio portion, go to my Instagram page, the Real Rasta Boy, and y'all can hear for y'all. So let me turn her up. Hold on. Hold on, I'm turning it off. Why don't you all enjoy your friendly little family dinner? Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Oh, and Anika, this is an ass. Yes. You dress like this for a friendly get together? Bitch, she came up and she served. I'm like, she was in this nasty corset ism. Like, you know, you know, little Kim dressed when she was in the, um, in, the, in that video, jump off video, in that little bad outfit with a little with a headpiece stuff, and she was snapping it with that little pink fur coat on. Yes, she was giving me a little Kim S tonight in this damn piece of empire. I'm so like, Cookie is the fucking business in the show. If this girl ever die in the show or whatever, this show is not gonna be the same. Cause nobody, Taraja P Henson, bravo to you, hunty, because you are giving me everything I need every week in this damn empire. Okay, so Cookie stormed out, obviously. Because she was not liking the fact that Lucia's trying to lead her on, then propose to them, um, Onika, Nika, whatever her name is, um, Monica, um, um, Boo Boo Kitty. Anyway, moving along, um, so, you know, Jamal's still working on his music, um, and, you know, Cookie's right there beside, you know, Cookie's his manager, but, um, his boyfriend is kind of getting kind of insecure um, because obviously his music is storming off. He's getting a lot of, um, you know, play on the radio and stuff like that. Not on the radio yet, you know, buzzing. His music is buzzing. And his boyfriend is trying to find out, like, actually, what's going on with my music? What's going on with my boyfriend? You know, I don't want to, like, be lost in his shadow. Like, you know, you have a boyfriend. Sometimes when he becomes famous, they forget that they have they had a boyfriend or, or a spouse. So, child, he's being insecure. He talked to Cookie about it. Cookie was like, child, you better find you something to do because once um, Jamal gets blown up, I don't know what you're going to do, boo. Cookie is so shady, but I love her because she keeps it real. So, um, I can't remember, I can't remember what his name is in the show, but um, 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 what's his name? Malik Yoba, whatever his name is. He's um in the show as like Lucia's right-hand man. He want to go choke the shit out of Andre tonight because he felt like Andre is was conspiring with Lucius to keep the secret about that he, that that um that that Lucia shot Bucky or Bucky whatever his name is. Andre only said, you know, was you know agreeing or gave some other lines to his father because you know you know them back in the days that's what sons and father did and whatever. So it was just vouching for his father when he really in the truth and if I didn't know what was his father um what was his father's whereabouts. 
anyway, yeah, I'm gonna show the shit of Andre. Andre was almost, almost gonna pass the fuck out and turn blue. When, um, the, the Malik Yuba almost choked the shit out of him. I forgot, um, Malik Yuba's character's name in the show. But did y'all see Corner Love made her damn nasty old appearance in the show tonight? It, you know, Corner Love always gives us messy blonde, messy water river looking hair. Um, and then she wears the coats as always, where she wears her, her, you know, fur looking coats and then silky satin looking dress all I needed with red lipsticks and messy makeup. Yes, Courtney Love make her appearance tonight and she, and, um, Lucius want her to be managed by Cookie. So she don't want an amateur to manage her, but whether she like it or not, Cookie's managing her. Cookie went to the studio to check her music out. L, so her name is L Dallas. L Dallas sounds a damn mess. I'm like, this girl, I'm like, is she playing herself? Because I heard her on um, a, a recent um, entertainment show saying that she was not playing herself. She's playing a bit of Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, and some other damn celebrity, you know, music celebrity. She's not playing herself. I'm telling her, like, Courtney Love, you are playing yourself. You are messed up. You are on drugs. Eat Cookie found you in, a, in some hotel, motel, holiday, in shack place, looking all fucked up. Sorry to curse, but she's all looking messed up. She was wearing, um, she was having some cokehead boyfriend in the room with her. Cookie had to get her out of the area and get her straight. Finally, Cookie had her strip down all her lashes and take them fake weave outs and rub her face off and get clean and bear her all. And now she's starting to sound, now she's starting to sound good. So hopefully, um, this will be some good music we get from, um, L Dallas. So, um, Eldas was in the show tonight. That's good. They had some little crazy in the show. But, um, Hakeem is just giving me too much. He's acting like he's so hard and tough. I'm like, he, you know, he's being disrespectful still to, um, to Cookie. Um, you know, his father's allowing it. His brother, um, Jamal is not allowing it. That's the one which I like how Jamal is standing up for his mother because I'm like, yeah, we know that, you know, Hakeem is being, being rebellious because his mother was not there over the years. Um, while he was growing up, but how dare you be disrespectful to your mother like that? That's no, that's no real way to be, you know, giving respect to the person who birthed you. We are some music in the background tonight. Jay Z, I'm a hustler, was playing. I'm a hustler, baby, and I just want you to know. And they were playing Kelly Rowland. I am. Um, what was it like? They were playing for Kelly Rowland. They were playing. Anyway, big shout out to Kelly Rowland and Brandy. Happy birthday to y'all. Today, y'all birthday. I want to give a big shout out to them because two of my favorite celebrities also. Kelly Rowland was getting some shine tonight on Empire. They were playing both their songs. Sorry, they were playing both Jay-Z, Lila Kim, and, and um, Kelly Rowland songs tonight on um, Empire. So, you know, get some shine on Kelly. It's your damn birthday. Why not? Um, so, um, that was kind of cute tonight. But the scene for the club that we're playing Kelly Rowland song was was really white. These white girls doing some of the stuff. You need to get some ratchet turn up black girls and stuff and Latina girls um stuff to be, you know, going turn up in the show. I didn't like how the fact the club scene was a bit blah. What else I want to talk about tonight? Um yes, I was talking about El, El, um um El, um El Dallas being a mess. And um everybody loved Cookie tonight. Everybody was saying Cookie was, you know, a go getter. She takes no shorts. Um, you know, she goes go straight in. Anyway, Jamal is debuting his music um, at some like a listening session, whatever. And Sway, you must swear, I'm going to the last one. I'll recap that Sway was going to be interviewing. Um, Sway was going to be interviewing, what's his name? Sway from, used to be on MTV. I think he has an, a series show now on um, XM or whatever, series FM. You know, so now he's interviewing Jamal after he performed this nice song and we're all loving it. Ask Jamal, so you know, you get all this, you know, recognition and success now, and your music's playing, and everybody's liking it. Do you have a special lady in your life? Before the niggas speak up and said, I don't have a special lady in my life, but I have someone special in my life that I'm currently seeing. His boyfriend was watching from the stream online, you know, when people are having a little online session, they can stream it online. So his boyfriend is watching the stream online, and when Jamal ignored the fact that he's dating someone, the boyfriend got mad. You know, he's already having insecurity issue, and now Jamal didn't even admit that he's dating somebody. He could, he could have said, I'm dating somebody. They don't, they don't need to acknowledge it's a boy or a girl. But, because you know, the music industry is very touchy. When you are male, and if you announce that you are gay, people, you start losing your audience, you know. AKA, well, not that it affects a lot of people, or everybody. You know, AKA Frank, Frank Ocean, Sam Smith, who else? That's gay, and I'm proud. Anyway, the others are out there, but they're not, just not 
putting out there. But anyway, I think Jamal should have told the people tonight, well, sway that he was damn gay or 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 say like Frank Ocean did, he's bisexual. Shit. Anyway, um, everybody keep on saying Akeem was acting childish, but the but the most important part of the night is when um you know. Akeem was, you know, being rude to, you know, Cookie and they were all, whatever, storming out of the boardroom or whatever. Um, somebody was at security acting a fool that they want to talk to um, somebody, whatever, they want to be let in. And they were like, who the hell is that? I'm there looking like, who the hell is that girl? I'm trying to look. Child, guess who it is? This girl playing, um, this girl is playing, this girl is playing, this girl has been playing by Raven Simone. Yes, Raven Simone have not been on her TVs for a while since her little Oprah interview and all of the isn't that have been going on with her. And she, you know, saying that, you know, talking about her sexuality, whatever. Raven Simone is playing this girl named Olivia. Olivia is there with some little baby little girl, cute as a button, saying that this is Jamal's daughter. I'm about to clutch my damn pearls and rip it off my damn neck. I'm like... What do you mean, um, um, Jamal's daughter? Jamal, last time I rec recall, Jamal is gay. How Jamal has a daughter with some girl? So, in next week's episode, we're going to learn that Jamal, it seemed like he had hooked up with this girl for a one-night stand, or when, I guess when he was maybe in denial or trying to try, where, trying to figure shit out. You know, when people try to figure stuff out when they're younger, and this girl, I guess, got pregnant one time or, or the other, one time. One time, and obviously, the one time, she, you know, he stick it, he got a baby. Now, the Olivia's going to be in the show, causing drama next week. Naomi Campbell is in the show, causing drama. Her name in the show of next week is called Yuko, Yuko Ono. Like, child, when did, when did when did Naomi Campbell become Chinese or Asian? Last time I checked, Naomi Campbell was black as ever, and have some, some little island rules. How the hell... Naomi can become from black to come Asian with this damn Yuko, Toko, Yuko Okono damn name. Really? But you know, love the names. Keep it spicy and interested. I love it. Anyway, I said before, next week we're going to see, um, you know, um, um, you know, Cookie, you know, addressing what, um, I guess, what's going on between Akeem and Yuko, a.k.a. Naomi Campbell. We're going to see, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, next week? um, so who's fighting next week? Um, I see Lucia's fainting and acting, you know, getting dizzy and whatever. You know, he's like, you know, he has um, ALS. Um, who else is fighting next week again? More shit next week. I, there's more guest star coming up, and I can't wait to see what happens next week. Make sure you check. Um, oh, I want to give a big shout out to the, to the costume department at um, Empire. They were doing the costumes tonight for Cookie Lines. Making me like, damn, bitch, I'm loving this damn leopard princey. We're getting, so let, um, Cookie had on um, a leopard dress one time. She had on leopard pants. She was giving us a leopard for days tonight on Empire. Cookie, I don't know if the show would, show would do well without you or they swapping you out for another, um, for another person to play Cookie. But you play it so well, girl. Big props to you, Mr. Roger P. Henson. Everybody over there at Empire. Good episode tonight. Addition of Courtney Love was more dramatic and more crazy. We love it. And I can't wait to see what happened with Olivia. A.K.A. Jamal's baby mama next week. Child, I'm gone. Make sure you check your boy out and look for the video of Cookie acting a fool up on my Instagram, The Real Rasta Boy. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube or wherever you watch me. And, and also, comment and let me know, know what you thought about tonight's episode. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section. And also, reshare this on your Twitter, your Facebook, or forward it to your friends. I'll catch y'all next time for another recap here on Rasta Boy TV. Peace and good night. And RIP to my girl Whitney Houston. Tonight was your third year anniversary. Rest in peace, Nippy. We love you.